today I want to talk about how to bring in your manifestations and I think this is gonna be a really good video so stay tuned all the way till the end if you're new here please subscribe to my channel I do post videos on self-development spirituality and lifestyle content I basically show you guys a peek into my life and also my mind so if you're interested definitely subscribe and if you are subscribed thank you so much you mean the world to me and I love you so much and I'm glad that you're back for another video so let's get straight into it so the way to bring in your manifestations is to be in flow and what I mean by in flow is basically in vibrational frequency of bringing in the things that you want if you've ever listened to Abraham Hicks which if you haven't I definitely recommend her she talks about a vortex and a vortex is basically this like swirling zone of, of things that basically are all of your desires so it's everything you've ever wanted in this one circle of energy pretty much and it's just constantly flowing waiting to be pulled to you once you're ready so being in flow is basically being in the state of being ready for that thing being in alignment with your goal let's say for example you really really want to have a new car but you don't have a driver's license you haven't saved up money for a car you don't have a job you haven't even looked at the cars you want or anything like that you have to make some sort of step to be able to put yourself in the position of someone who's ready to receive that manifestation. So for example, for me, I really want to have a successful YouTube channel. That is one of my desires. I mean, clearly, you guys can see my channel. If I wasn't posting YouTube videos, I can't expect that to just happen for me. I have to put myself in the position of someone who's ready to receive a successful YouTube channel. It's not just being in alignment with the things that you need. It's also just like this flow state. Like, you know when people are saying, they're in the middle of painting and they just got really in the flow of it or they got really lost in whatever they were doing. That is where literally all of the magic lies. If you do something that really just catches your attention and like holds your attention in a positive way, that is most likely some sort of calling or purpose that you have within your life that you should probably put more attention into or maybe try to like alchemize. Um, whether it's like monetizing it or whether it's just, you know, making it more of a practice that you do more frequently. It's not just when you're in the middle of doing some sort of arts and craft or singing or making YouTube videos or whatever it is. It can also be in your daily life. Like if you wake up and you, for example, grab your journal, I'm just like walking through my morning routine to be honest, but grab your journal, go sit outside and journal for a little bit, spend time off your phone and you come inside and you know, you say what you're thankful for and you start your breakfast and you're just really in this state of being in no resistance with what you're doing. That's exactly what flow is, right? Flow is just like constantly moving and there's no resistance towards the movement that you are naturally having, if that makes sense. Basically the, the flow of how something's moving and then resistance is what stops that flow. So doing anything that makes you feel that steady ease. And the thing is, things are gonna interrupt that ease. You're going to have a bad day or something's gonna go wrong or there's gonna be a problem or an accident, but being able to get back into flow rather than like being like there was resistance and now putting up resistance to the fact that there was resistance and being mad about the fact that there was resistance or that there was a problem that happened, being able to just skip over that and being like, oh, that just happened, it's dealt with, okay, now I continue on with my flow. And being able to get back into flow is, yeah, bingo. To be in flow, raise your vibration. To raise your vibration, speak positive affirmations, pray, give thanks, acknowledge that life is a gift. For me, I love myself some positive affirmations. They, I think, probably have been one of the main things that have made a big difference in my life. And I don't necessarily mean like my life has changed externally because of it, but I guess my internal world has changed because of it and naturally that's just made my external world feel so much better and become so much better saying positive affirmations are really really great you can write down ones that are just customs to custom to you write down whatever you feel you want to hear whatever you want to believe in there's nothing too big or too small like you can write whatever you want your desires have no reason to be invalid you are worthy of everything you want and so dream big Dream big, dream big, dream big. The next thing is pray and give thanks. If you are someone who likes to pray or you maybe would like to try praying or haven't in a while or whatever, pray more frequently. Just literally speak. It doesn't have to be some formal sentence that you're speaking. You can just talk to the higher power, to God, whatever you want to call it. Thank God for everything that you have. Be grateful for your life, for your body, for waking up this morning, for clicking on this video, for having a laptop or a phone or whatever it is you're watching this on, 
for being in the comfortable bed you're laying in or on the couch that you're sitting on, just for all of the little things that we tend to take for granted, be more grateful for them. And then the last thing is acknowledging that life is a gift. I think sometimes when we're in this life, we decide that the world is bad and that this is like something bad that's happening to us, that we're here to be tested. And life is just a series of events that are bad. And there's just so many like negative beliefs around what life is, but really it is such a blessing to be here. It is such a gift to be able to be in the bodies that we're in, being able to live the life that we're living and to have the experiences that we're having and to have family members and friends and to have food and water and shelter and just so many things that we get to experience in this life. And although there are a lot of hardships and it's difficult because there are a lot of people who aren't having their bare necessities met, we should be grateful for the fact that we are rather than just constantly feeling like, oh, but people aren't getting what we have. Do you know what I mean? I think a lot of the times it's like, oh yeah, but so-and-so isn't getting to have this, but it's like, yes, but we do. And we need to be grateful because in us being grateful, we're raising the vibration of the planet. We're making this world a better place because what's the point of us having it and them not if we're not gonna be grateful and be able to make it a potential for them to have it and make ourselves a better person to be able to maybe provide that for a future version of them or a future generation for them, you know? Focus on being grateful and being thankful for everything that you have. Manifestations are such an interesting topic because I feel like it's become so popular to have like three steps to manifestation or you know like your manifestation will come to you in five days or whatever and it's like yes we can do all of these things to bring in our manifestations and we can do all of these little techniques and tactics to be able to bring them in and rituals and stuff but at the end of the day the divine is going to do what the divine feels is best and knows is best so just having that deep knowing as well that whatever is meant for you and that whatever is best to serve you will be what's for you in the right time is really really promising and you can kind of take off the pressure there was like this abraham hicks sound that i kept hearing on instagram it was like um the question is not whether or not that thing that you want is going to come to you the question is when are you going to sit back and relax and accept that it is coming to you you just need to relax you just have to stop resisting stop creating resistance and wondering when is it coming why isn't it here why don't i have it it's easier said than done i know that i know it's hard to not crave your desires but if you can try to get into the thought pattern of reminding yourself whenever you do catch yourself having that thought of being why don't i already have this thing being able to like switch it to i don't already have this thing because it's not right right now but it will be in the future and when it's right, it'll be so much better. Like think about all the things that you wanted in your life, whether it was to get into the school you wanted to get into or the car you wanted or the relationship or whatever it is, it has come at the perfect time. Look back at your life and realize how absolutely perfect everything has aligned for you to be able to be where you're at right now. And why would that all of a sudden change in this moment going forward? It's gonna continue to be that way. Everything's gonna continue to work out for us and to be the best possible way for us to teach us, to let us have our lessons and to grow and become better evolved human beings. And yeah, it's just, life is wonderful if you really think about it. There was like this, I don't really call them poems when I write because they don't rhyme, but I guess they're kind of like poems. I don't know, but I kind of want to read it to you guys. So I wrote, life is bad. That is what this little segment is called. Um, for many years, it's been said that heaven is the highest. After so many years, we've adapted an understanding that life is hard, and life is cruel, and life is bad. But this is life. We get to experience and feel and hold our loved ones, and feel the way the earth grows for us through the grass. Life is not bad, it's beautiful, it's a blessing, and then some. We need to see what's in front of us while it's in front of us. And, I mean, that was kind of like what I was saying earlier about just acknowledging that we don't have to accept this fear-based dark world that we're being programmed to live in. We can choose that this world is something beautiful. We can choose that the world is improving for us. This is just a quick little video of another ramble yet again. If you're interested in seeing more videos by me, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. Sorry, my dog is making noises at me. I think he needs to go outside. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.